It's only the starter and Galton's already frazzled. His dish, with its fragile layers of chanterelle mushrooms, asparagus and pastry with a blue cheese sauce, has taken twice as long to prepare as Anthony's soup. To make matters worse, he's fretting over the presentation. All week long, Galton's taken heat from Anthony for the French accent in his cooking. But it's what the judges think that matters. Will they find his layered pastry too Gallic to win this round? Yes! Oh. Mm. Looks like dessert. It's the old, uh, it's the old Parmesan slice. My first impression was not wonderful because I don't... These sort of lumpy bits, I know it's very fashionable. Which is lumpy bits? The Stilton or whatever it is. That's the blue cheese dressing. Yes, I know, but it's sort of... Classic. Now, the great thing about this is it's almost impossible to eat tidily. Never mind, we don't have to. We just go crunch, so crunch. We shall deconstruct this like in that. a brutal way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice dish. As a British dish is where it really comes into question, though. Is it a British dish? And I, I, I gotta say, I don't feel it is, you know. I, no, I think it's, it's, it's much more French in inspiration, I well, would say. Well, quite... I think it's a, a successful, but it doesn't blow your mind. So neither of the starters impressed the judges very much. Galton's was too French, and Prue was the only champion of Anthony's soup. So it looks as if this round is a draw. The plates have come back almost intact. And Galton is anxious. They didn't touch any of that. Your starter? Yeah. Did they? Do? Did they? Even Anthony seems unsure of his performance. It's a bit like the Eurovision Song Contest, really. I, I've, I've got a feeling I'm on nul point at the moment. But not so unsure that he can't find time to needle his rival. Where the judges look at the practicalities of the dishes, serving them for 300 people, that might be my only hope. We'll see, we'll Why, see. Why, do you think the judges will take into the practicalities of how the dishes go? They bloody better do. All those galettes. So, yeah, so yours may well be more, better servable, but it's all about the taste. Oh, dear. I think I hit a nerve. There's no time to nurse bruised egos. With one course down and no clear winner, Anthony and Galton are really up against it. They need to get the fish course finished now to send up to the judges. Galton's gone for an elegant dish calculated to impress, lasagna of lobster. The dish is as big on style as it is on flavour. Galton's positive it's a winner, despite its continental inspiration. I have to say that, to me, if something comes out and it looks good, chances are that it invariably tastes good. Yeah, that is a Michelin attitude to life, really, isn't it? Do you think so? It doesn't always work like that. It has to look appetising. To me, Ponce's out. I like a certain sort of je ne sais quoi rustique. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the French coming out in you again. This is no traditional lasagna. Galton inserts his delicately cooked lobster between sheets of freshly made pasta and tops it off with a gruyere cheese sauce. Galton, happy with yours? I... <laughs> yes, I am. I don't want to sound too cocky or anything, but to me, that's a lovely fish course. Do you think they'll guess who, who cooked what? I don't know now. I did think at first, but maybe, maybe I don't know. 